I spotted this group of mule deer does and fawns and with them at the time was a nice 4x4 four four mule deer buck. I was on the other side of the field there about a quarter mile distance so I had to get the wind right and make a big half a mile circle. By the time I crawled on my hands and knees through the drainage ditch and peeked over, the buck was gone. Hello everyone, Mav Hunter here. The rest of this video will be focused on using the Montana Miss Muley doe decoy. The doe decoy can be particularly effective during the mule deer rut. The deer show a lot of interest in the decoy, particularly the bucks, which are in the rut. A lot of times the bucks will approach the decoy, they'll circle the decoy, and then sometimes move off a short distance or feed within shooting distance of the decoy. The one thing about the decoy, it's not three-dimensional, it's two-dimensional. So the decoy been, can be seen when the buck is brought, looking at it broadside or, or at a slight angle. If the buck is approaching the decoy from directly behind or directly at the decoy, the buck just sees, if anything, a thin line of, of the decoy. But once they get to the side of it where they can get a broadside view of the two-dimension decoy, then they react. And you'll see that reaction in this video. The decoy is very effective, as I mentioned, during the rut season for bucks. But it doesn't work 100% of the time. And I don't know if that's due to weather, time of day, what kind of mood, the running mood the bucks are in. But of the seven times I deployed the decoy on this trip while I was sitting in a natural ground blind, about half the time the bucks approached the decoy. The other half of the time they noticed the decoy, they looked at the decoy, but they, they never came close to the decoy within shooting range. But the decoy was really effective at stopping does that would come by that were spooked by other hunters. The does would at least slow down and even stop and mill around for a while, checking out the decoy. So the decoy sort of had a calming effect to these spooked groups of does. All right, enjoy. Later that afternoon, I set up my decoy in the opposite side of the field, getting the wind right and getting the sun behind my back. And this nice three by three buck comes walking out. Pretty decent buck, but not what I'm looking for. It's only got about a 26 inch spread. Here, a group of does and fawns that were spooked by another hunter about a quarter mile away. As they were sprinting along the edge of the field, they stop and they stare momentarily at the decoy that's out in the field. Later on that afternoon, a curious three-point buck with only one antler comes over to inspect the decoy. The decoy is only two-dimensional, so the buck doesn't see the decoy until he gets broadside to it. And watch his reaction when he does see it. Whoa! What is that? The buck spooks. but then he immediately comes to a stop and looks back. 